Hi folks, David Miller here, here to talk to those in the glass industry. But wait a minute, I'm missing my counterpart, Emily. Well, she was out with family this week, so we still shot the video. So we know you'll miss her, but we have something to talk to you today that probably needs to be addressed in the glass industry. Today's topic is real simple. What is the difference between Kevlar and HPPE, and does it matter? Well, here's the thing that's often said. I need me one of them cut level gloves there. Get me one of them Kevlar gloves. Do you know why people say that? Because Kevlar was one of the first cut level materials out there. It was the first. That's, it's like the Xerox machine. People say, go make me a Xerox. No, Xerox was a name brand, and it's actually make me a, a copy. But they say, make me a Xerox. The same thing with this Kevlar glove here. It was the first. So people refer to cut level gloves as Kevlar. I want to throw something out there just for you to think about today. That's all. Just a tidbit. Well, Kevlar being the first, it was designed to actually resist heat as well. Let me guess. Those of you wearing Kevlar gloves today or Kevlar jackets, you're probably getting the complaints from your team. It's too hot. It's too scratchy, etc. Let me introduce something else to you. Oh, this is HPPE, High Performance Polyethylene. Designed, actually, the material to keep the body cool. Oh, wait a minute. This is HPPE, but it's high vis. It's just out another color. Oh, this one's HPPE too. It's just geared out with some really cool impact resistant protective material on the back of the hand. And I will have you know that every one of these gloves are an ANSI 4 and above. So what is the difference? There is none when it comes to the actual cut level. A Kevlar material is tested the exact same way as the HPPE material in any other glove that has a cut level rating on it. It has to go through what they call the TDM100 testing. And basically, it's just a blade that cuts down the material and determines the grams of pressure before the material is cut. So here's the good news. Test the gloves, and if it works for you, it doesn't matter if it's Kevlar or HPPE. A cut level glove is a cut level glove. So what you're really looking for is optimal performance and comfort for your team. And nine times out of 10, unless you're in a situation that requires heat resistance, the HPPE is gonna win every time. So that's our tip of the, of the month from Hub Industrial. Doesn't really matter what the cut level material is as long as it works for you and it's comfortable for your team. Have a great year.